I'm going to explain to you what iAction result is in ASP.NET Core, why we use it, and I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know. In the previous section, we saw inside our controller that the actions return this iAction result. But what is the iAction result? iAction result is an interface that basically defines a contract for all the different kinds of results that an action can return. Inside of an action, we can return to the user different results, we can return a page, we can redirect the user somewhere, we can return a JSON, just a simple message, and so on. All of these different action results derive from the iAction result interface. In some cases, we may have a condition inside our action which would return different information to the user depending on specific requirements. And in this case, for us to include each of these different return types in the return type of the action, we specify here I action result instead of just specifying, let's say, view result or content result so that it includes everything that the action can return. Let me just remove this and show you what we could use if we didn't use the I action result. If we would want to just return a view, let's say we can just return here a view result and then return the view here. Actually, view the view that we are returning here is just a helper method that is inherited from the controller class and it's just a shortage of this view result. The long way of writing it would be return new view result. But as I said, this is a helper method that allows us to write it in a more flexible and short way. And this is the way you will mostly see it in the code or from the documentation. So we could return different kinds. We could also return other kinds of information inside a action. We could return content result. And here I can just write return content. Content is as well a helper method. Yeah, I can just write a message to the user, like hello there. We can return just a JSON result, a redirection result, and so on. But every of these different result types inherits from the I action result. And as I said, that's why we basically just write on top of as a return type of every action, I action result, so everything is included in it. If you want to learn more about ASP.NET Core MVC, you should click the video or the playlist on the screen. Subscribe for more content like this if you got value from the video, and I will see you in the next one.